Este programa tem o apoio cultural Copenhagen e Lua Music. Ele veio pela ABBM, a, a Academia Brasileira de Black Music, e também para nos presentear com o show. It's in a way. Ok, ok. Em comemoração. Ok, ok. Olá, começando agora o Salada Net com um convidado muito especial. Ele veio aqui em comemoração aos 458 anos de São Paulo, que não é pouca idade, tinha que trazer um convidado assim especial. Veio também pela Academia Brasileira de Black Music. Tem muitos projetos, tem muita coisa para contar para gente. Ele tem fãs pelo Brasil e pelo mundo há mais de três décadas que a gente acompanha a música dele. Então, apresento para vocês, Jimmy Bohorn. Nice to meet you. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. Very nice to have you here at the Salada Net. That's a big, big pleasure. I'm glad to be here. It's great. Wonderful, and <laughs> São Paulo is a great city. Is your first time here no, in São Paulo? No, I've been here, I think this is my third or fourth time. I was here early during the early, early 70s. And I came in for a company at that time, I think it was uh, called Chic Show, mm -hmm. and um, came back last year. Um, now I'm back again, so I can't stay away. <laughs> I would like that you could live here, because I love your song. I could really, <laughs> really live here, because I like it. You think it's possible? Oh, one day. <laughs> one day. Who knows? Yes. Now let's talk about the show tonight. I know that will be a very big show and I'm very happy because I, you can see you singing a lot. It's going to be a fun show. It's going to be a show with very live musicians, uh, musicians playing, making people happy, people getting an opportunity to jump up and dance and also getting the opportunity to do the show with me because I always like for my crowd to basically be there and enjoy as much as I enjoy enjoying the music and i would like to know which music uh, you can sing you can sing now or yes i know <laughs> well i know that i, I didn't want to sing too much because yes, of my I voice for mm -hmm. the show tonight but uh songs like uh, dance across the floor that was a song that was written for me by kc of kc and the sunshine band oh. the man that put out that's the way i like it get down tonight those are his songs <laughs> did songs for me like Gimme Some, he did a song for me called You Get Me Hot, uh, another song called Is It In Your Heart, and we're going to do a lot of Jimmy Bohorn songs and some KC and the Sunshine Band songs, like Boogie Shoes. It will be great, isn't it's it? It's going to be really, really good. Yeah, you need to see that. <laughs> and I would like to know about your projects. Yes, we have a project right now, and it's going to be released this year, 2012. We're working on a single release called Throw Your Hands Up in the Air. It's a party song. It's a song where people can sing along with the music and enjoy while they're riding or cleaning the house or out on the dance floor. It's a party song. So it's going to be released in 2012. Very good. So we're working on that. <laughs> Very yeah. good. We're yeah. waiting for it. Oh, <laughs> I'm waiting for you. Yes. I don't know. I would like to know uh, um, the funny thing that happened, I, I think it must be happen, yes. isn't it? Yes, yes. <laughs> The funniest thing in your shows that you yes. could tell us. My manager can tell you that funny things happened to me. Once I was on stage, and I don't know if my manager knew about it, 
but my pants was coming down. <laughs> and it's, it's because I thought I put my suspenders on tight uh -huh. and I would try to dance to keep the audience from realizing that my pants was coming down. But every time I tried to pull them up, I tried to do a little dance step, but the suspenders were unfastened. So I'm hoping that the audience was actually partying with my song instead of looking at me with my pants coming down. <laughs> You didn't realize. No, I mean, the pants kept coming down, so I said. Oh, very good. I'll do a little dance step, so won't nobody really t be able to tell. And what do you prefer here in Brazil? What's the best thing that you see here and you like very much? I like, I like the food. The food? Yes. Which kind of food do I like, you like? I like the beans and rice. Beans and rice? Yes. 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 <laughs> and uh, I like the music. The music, which music? Yes. Uh, it was something that I like in terms of carnival, carnival? Brazilian music, yes. And I like uh, Brazilian jazz, mm -hmm. uh, the old traditional Brazilian jazz, like by Stan Gatz. You know that guy that did uh, Soft and Tender, Young and Lovely, the girl from Ipanema? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can't do it because people will say, oh, he sounds terrible. <laughs> If I can tell in English, uh, share yes. the stage yes. Yes. with some artists, Brazilian artists? I sure would. In fact, the musicians that are playing this evening are all Brazilian artists. Ah, who are they? Uh, now, I don't know. I can't say the name of the band uh -huh. because I don't know how to say it in Portuguese. But um, I can tell you that all of them are from, some are from Sao Paulo, some are from Rio de Janeiro. And they're all there, and they're going to play with me tonight. They played with me last year, and mm -hmm. I loved them so much to where I got on the phone and told my manager, I got to have those guys mm -hmm. back again. Mm -hmm. And we have some beautiful background singers, beautiful like you are, mm -hmm. that's going to be doing the uh, little background sounds of that's the way I like it and doing the boogie shoes. So oh. I'm telling you, it's going to be good.
about all the world who are the best artists for you well now in terms of music dance music I like cool in the game I like James Brown I like Sam Cook Otis Redding a lot of old artists that did 70s music um, I like Earth Wind and Fire uh -huh. so um, Marvin Gaye I love the temptations and the four tops mm -hmm. the, that I can listen to that all day all day mm, you know the things Timmy now I would like to know your opinion about a very important person okay United States President Obama okay yes Obama, are you happy with him I am very happy with him because to me he's a president for all people mm -hmm. he's a president that basically wants to make world peace he's a man that he can basically believe that instead of running away from those that don't agree with you, he'll come and try to make peace. He's a man that will try to do what he says he's going to do, and his words match his actions. Mm -hmm. I like because he's a family man. Yes. I like the way he loves his family, and I like the way he never gets mad. You know you when you're a leader to me a leader has to recognize that it's so nice to be important but it's more important to be nice obama at a young age a very young age his mother taught him the importance of believing in yourself i i read a book and i my mother shared the book with me where as a small boy four years old when his teacher asked him what do you want to be he said president <laughs> so when when you look at when you look at leaders and you look at where some leaders think by impulse and emotion if something happens they basically want to strike back and not talk to the enemy mm -hmm. where this president believes that no 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 matter how many times in his election where people said but we'll never talk to this, this country. We'll never do this to this country. Obama was brave enough, mm -hmm. smart enough to say, let's make peace first. Because it's easy to go to war and lose lives. But to me, he's a man that made America and the world see that I'm more interested in all of us living peacefully together. To me, He's been the best president for the world, not only for black people, because he has a white mother mm -hmm. and a black father, ebony and ivory, a person who can give you the perspective of both worlds. And he's always basically trying as hard as he can to let people see that my actions will match my words. I respect him. He's I my agree. president. Totally yeah. with you. He's my president. I would like to know, uh, you tell me that he wanted, uh, he knew that he wanted to be a president when Four he, years old. He, he was a child. Yeah. And I would like to know, what would you like to be when you were a child? When I was about, let's say, five or six years old, I knew I wanted to be a singer. Because uh, in my mother's uh, bathroom, I used to go in there because when you're in the bathroom and you sing in the bathroom, you can hear yourself bounce all up off the wall, your voice. Uh -huh. And I How used to, old were you? about five or six, and I listened to music that my parents would play in the house. I also would get in the back of my father's truck and take my mother's mop handle and pretend as if I was singing to the microphone because... I used to love to watch Little Richard. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to basically imitate James Brown and different people. Mm -hmm. And the wonderful thing that happened to me, I got an opportunity to work with James Brown. Oh, yeah. Yes, and work with That's some of the great, artists. Yeah, it? yeah. But that happens, isn't it? Yeah. When you love something yes. or someone. I agree. And you, I think you, 
You, I don't know how to say in English. It's difficult. I'm sorry for that. That's my okay. <laughs> you are doing good. And when you love something and you push and you push and you push, if you keep doing something that you believe in, soon you will do it. Mm -hmm. You let God do the rest. You attract him. Yes. The energy. Yes. A positive energy that will move you forward. Telling in energy, I would yes. like to know if you believe in God. Yes, I do. If you had a chance yes. to talk to him, yes. if, what would, would you I like, like to, to, say? to say to him or to ask? I would say, dear Lord, I have to do a show tonight. Please make sure my voice is good. <laughs> it will be. And I have, all, believe me, I have already said it in my hotel room. Uh -huh. I'm going to ask him again when I go to rehearsal. I'm going to say it when I pray with my manager and um, my security. I'm going to say it, that, Lord, please. Let this voice be good so I can bring happiness to the people. Yes, but I'm sure yeah. it will happen. The, well, it's, it's almost like magic. People have a tendency to bring out the energy you need to do what you want to do for the people. Very good. Thank you. Uh, I would like to know uh, how is your uh, professional musical life in this moment. In this moment, I am reinventing Jimmy Bohorn as a brand. And I am trying now to come out with new music that young and old will enjoy at the same time. So I'm incorporating a little music that I know young people like in terms of beats. Uh -huh. And then I'm saying lyrics, words that I know older people would like to have me say. So I'm trying to mix it and have the best of both worlds with Jimmy Bohorn. I'm, I'm, I'm basically now going to change the look and give the people something that's different. Because the only thing in life that you can count on is change. You cannot stay the same. So I'm so reinventing. Be the same? You yeah. need to change. You need to change. <laughs> you said it best.
I have a gift oh, for thank you. you. Yes, thank you. Copy, do you like chocolate? Chocolate, I am chocolate. <laughs> it's yes. the I like it. The best chocolate yes. for you. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so now, much. Now, I would like to know if you want to tell something for your fans. Yes. They are watching me. What would you like to tell them? Jimmy Bohorn loves San Paulo. And I would love for you to come out tonight. I want you to come out and enjoy music from Jimmy Bohorn because we are going to dance across the floor. So get ready because Bo, the best Bo, is in San Paulo. You better be there. Thank you very much for coming here. Yes. I'm very happy. Yes. And uh, all the best for you. Thank you. And your show. Thank you. And everything good for you. And thank you for the chocolates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Copenhagen.com.br. A kiss for you. Beijo para você. Uh, we are going and we'll come back soon. So don't you dare change that dial. Don't you dare change that dial. We'll be right back. Say it again. Salada. Salada net. Salada net. Okay. Salada net. Huh? Tem chocolate. No, shot. Not stealing from you. Ah, that's for you. That's for you. Be calm. <laughs> <risos> Você não pode perder essa semana a entrevista com o Jim Bonhorn aqui no Salada. <risos>
Este programa tem o apoio cultural Copenhagen e Lua Music. 